It is the slogan on Chicago's official seal, Herbs in Orto, which is Latin for city in a garden. Multitudes of people have enjoyed the colorful gardens of Grant Park and Navy Pier. You do that very well. But tonight <laughs> on Destination Illinois, we're searching for the hidden gardens of Chicago, and WGN's Julian Cruz leads the way. A hundred yards from the mechanized roar of DuSable Lakeshore Drive, a soothing dose of nature in Lincoln Park. You can hear the sound of water, the perimeter is protected, you don't hear much in the way of, of sounds of the city. This is a place to heal. Soak up the serenity of this national historic landmark tucked away off Fullerton Parkway, the marvelous Alfred Caldwell Lily Pool, completed in 1938, attracting garden lovers young and old from every part of the globe, like this couple from Japan here to experience Caldwell's masterpiece. He cashed in his life insurance policy to buy, and to get a truck, and to drive to Wisconsin and to get all this uh, plant material, this wildflower plant material. Alfred Caldwell really wanted to bring um, the prairie into the city. It's a garden surrounded by history. The city's oldest dwelling place, the 1836 Widow Clark House at 18th and Indiana, keeping watch over the Chicago Women's Park and Garden, the Helping Hands Memorial, honoring Jane Addams, the pioneering social reformer, the black granite sculpture garden offset by the brilliant hues of summer. It's got a nice little meandering through there. There's little alcoves, and the kids love it. We come get our pictures taken here. We hang out here with the kids. We do our picnics here. Little Ava Ornelas enjoys a stroll with her mom, the toddler curious about everything she sees in the garden. Not only does she love the tomatoes, the flowers, but she loves the ants and the spiders and the bees. Nestled between the apartment buildings of Chicago's South Shore, discover a piece of earthly paradise, the South Merrill Community Garden. Hello, little darlings. Diane Hodges lovingly tends to her flowers, this 72-year-old force of nature, a horticultural visionary welcoming visitors to the sanctuary she's created. Anybody wants to come and leave their footprint in the garden, they're more than welcome to come and be part of that particular art project. There's art projects and gardening to draw in surrounding families. The rich soil and vibrant colors of this urban refuge at 70th and South Merrill providing what Hodges says is a therapeutic encounter with nature. It's color therapy. We know that art is healing. This is scientifically proven. So this is why when people work in their gardens, they feel so wonderful afterwards. Multimedia visual artist Devon Jontel McCoy adding a new dimension to this creative collaboration, bringing beauty and inspiration to the neighborhood. For visiting hours and activities, visit the South Merrill Community Garden Facebook page. It might surprise you to find a cemetery in a garden not far from Wrigley Field. Chicago's dead resting eternally at the Graceland Cemetery, a lush blanket of green enveloping the grave sites of past luminaries from George Pullman to department store heir Marshall Field Jr. and architect Daniel Burnham. The urban planner designing public parks and gardens after the great fire in 1871. His plan of Chicago, the blueprint for the city's reinvention, bringing tree-lined boulevards and open spaces to the crowded city with a catchy new slogan, Herbs in Ordo, or the city in a garden. For Destination Illinois, Julian Cruz.